Come, come, come. Eh, how are you? Ten, ten, ten. Come on. Fifty cent, also can. Okay. Eh, how are you? Fifty cent, yeah. Ah, so big, okay. On you. Eh, we are ready. Now. You dare to put more, put more money in? I put two dollars, can ah? Five dollar, that five dollars, five dollars. Ten dollar. Okay, deal. Eh, fifteen dollar. Wow, this one. Eh, put, put, put. Hey. Hey, class, what's going on? Hey, my dear guys, you can't play with all these cards. My God, with money, with dollars and coins, and that's how you're gonna lose more. I can't believe what's going on. And your handphone is here to bet. Are you doing what betting? Are you doing? My, my God. What do I see? A green note? Are you gambling with five dollars? Ten dollars? And what's that? Fifty dollars? Come on, boys! I'm not gonna take all these nonsense from you. How do you learn all this? My father. My father what? Got soccer bet. Uh, what? What about soccer bet? Uh, soccer bet play one hundred. Hey, your father bets one hundred. So you want to bet? Oh, you always win, or so you always win. And about you? What are you involved in? You just do not know. You know, my father bet one thousand. One thousand dollars betting, and you are learning all this, my dear boys. They are adults. They take the risk of gambling, and you are not. Now, sometimes you gotta learn the good things from your parents, and the worst things stay away from it. My dear everybody, please take note. Take the best from your parents. Sometimes we, your parents may go into if if they do. Please teach them, all right, in silent ways. But I'm sure your parents, many of your parents are good, and move on. Now I'm gonna have a lesson on probability today, and I'm gonna bring this awareness. The chance of winning is very slim, and that's how you're gonna know that gambling is bad. Now before I start my lesson on probability, my dear everybody, I don't hate any one of you, my dear boys and my sweethearts. If you gamble, that's a weakness, and I want you to get out of it because it's a bad. It stings because it makes your life sting and pull you right down the ladder of success. You want to move up? Please, please take note of this. What Sir Edmund Hillary said? He said, "It's not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves." Let me emphasize again: It's not the mountain that you conquer, but ourselves. And what we need is a strong willpower. When you're subjected to all these kind of influences, you got to learn to stay away. I know the influence around you is strong. Your friends, your people around you, you might see some betting. All right, I know football is becoming popular, and so betting going on. Please stay away from it. And let's find out how what chances means. The topic today, my dear friends, that I'm going to cover on is called probability. All right, and the lesson we learn here is that it's not the mountain we conquer, but ourselves. And through the lesson of probability, you're going to learn lots of things. Probability. All right, probable, probable. You want to play a four-digit number? What is the chance that you will strike it? Four-digit number. You may think, ah, yeah, very easy in a four digit, uh, only four spaces. Let's look at the chance of winning a four digit number. One, two, three, four. In the first choice, there are ten numbers that can go in. Any ten numbers. In the second choice, there's also ten numbers that can go in from zero, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Inclusive of zero, there are any ten digits that can go in. Similarly, here 
any 10 digits and here any 10 digits. So the chance that you will get the right digit, the right, so the probability that you will get the four digit number right, you'll be a winner of the first, the first, second, third, fourth. The first place that you will get it right is one out of 10. How about here, the second place again? One out of 10. The third place again, one out of 10. The fourth place is one out of 10. The probability that you will strike this number that you had, whatever this number is, maybe let me call it as A, B, C, D. That's what the number is. All right, A can be any number. All right, so you look at one tenth, one tenth, one tenth, one tenth. And that will give you a chance of one out of 10,000. My dear boys, girls, please tell your mama, your papa, your uncles, your aunties, the chance is one out of 10,000. So that 10,000 combination of numbers and the chance is one tenth. That's called probability. You get it? I'm going to go more into it and then you would be awakened and your senses will tell you, ha, ah, stay away from probability. All right? So you got to find out more. What happened if it's a seven digit number? All right, they see this lucky draw, you know, they have once, uh, I don't know what they call it, the race horse and they have these number draws and all that. So you have a swim ticket, yeah. Seven digits, you know, my dear friends. Seven digits. Let's draw seven boxes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven digits. So let's see in this first box, any 10 numbers, right, can go in. Second box, any 10, any 10, any 10. So this first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, seventh, ten. So what is the probability of striking it right seven times? I put it four times, the four digits, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh. I'm just writing. What is the chance? You got it. You got it. You got it. So the first box to get it right is one ten. The second is one ten. Third again, one ten. The fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh. Oh my God. God, when you multiply it, what do you get? 7, 10 to the power of 7. And that's 10 million, 7 zeros there. 10 million, you know. In Singapore, what's the population? It's about 5.6, is it? 5.4 million, or right, whatever it is. Even, look at this. It's not possible. No, no one might strive. So look at how slim this chance of winning a seven-digit number. All right, what else if it's more than that? So sometimes, when, even when you play a jackpot machine, all right, you play a jackpot machine. I remember, I'd like to share with you something. I'm very thrifty. I don't believe in losing money. I don't believe that because I work so hard for my money. Just like that, your parents work so hard for your money. And when you get to work, you know how hard it is. And then, within seconds, within minutes, within hours, you're broke, dead, gone. Come on. In one game, you lose $50. In 10 games, you lose 500 What else if your bets get bigger? So that's why you should stay away from gambling. So when I went some years ago to Las Vegas, and I saw the beauty and the glam of Las Vegas, the bright lights. Wow, such a rich place. Have you been there? God me, you're driving through a desert and from there you see Las Vegas. Ooh, it took me by surprise. You know why? Why it's looking so glamorous? Las Vegas is really rich because all the people who went there have lost all the money. And that's why the bright and the sparkle and the buildings and whatever's architecture is so, so classy and so exclusive. 
So don't lose your money there. But I was given, I went to this jackpot machine and they said you have three pineapples in a row. You can jackpot, you get bingo, you know you get the money. So I said, oh, three pineapples. And my husband knows I don't like to gamble. But anyway, he gave me $100. And I changed all this to the five cents chip, five cents. And I said, let me play with five cents. Wow, I put and put. No joke getting pineapple, you know. You know how many fruits were there now? There was eight fruits. And from the eight fruits, you can get any pineapples in that row you're getting in. So if there are eight fruits, one out of eight is a pineapple. The next one again, one out of eight is a pineapple. One out of eight is a pineapple. All right? And that means one eight, one eight, one eight is one upon 512. And my dear friends, it's not easy getting a pineapple standing by each other. And that's a very slim chance. And you have to put in five cents in what you get. Nothing much. You lose. If I put 500, five cents, you see, it's 512. That's the chance. One out of 512. And if I did play 512 times, how many cents have I lost if each coin is five cents? Can you multiply for me? Five, one, two, times five, you get a 10. Five, six, five times five, 25. And you look at that, you look at the number, the, the two, 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 five, six, zero. That is $25.60, right? Times five. You put 10, five, six, 25. And then I might strike. And I have to go at it, five cents, five cents, five cents, five cents. And the chance of it happening is pretty slim. Now, what I like to say is that in probability, please take note of it. Like sometimes when you see a soccer bat, you think the goal can strike. It's all about chances. And not, it is not guaranteed at all. And we're going to look more at it at this card game that you saw. All right? And look at this card game. We have 13 of these cards. All right, you have an ace, you have a king, you have a queen and a jack. And then you've got from one to 10, from two to 10, all right? Two to 10. The, the ace can be looked upon as your strongest card or your weakest card. So there are 13 cards, sorry, this is diamond. 13 cards in the diamond. And then, and this is your heart, another 13 cards. And this is spade. Spade, club. This club again, you've got 13 cards. And this is spade. In spade, 13 cards. There are 52 cards. All right? And in 52 cards, if I were to break them down, let me look at that. I have 52 cards. And we've got let, um, diamond. We've got 13 diamond. For clubs, we've got 30. For spade, we have 30. And the other one is heart, we have 13. Altogether, 52 cards. And from these 52 cards, if I want a king, a king, and that king must be a club. So what's the probability of getting a king and a king of, from the club? So there's only one king. And that probability is 1 out of 52. If I wanted a probability, probability of getting a heart, any heart, can you tell me what is it? All right, you've got 13 hearts and 13 out of 52. Beautiful, you got it. Now, if I wanted any king, how many kings are there? In every of this group, there's one king. So there are four kings out of 52 cards. So the probability of getting a king is four out of 52. Reduce it, my dear, you get two out of 26. And reduce it further, you get one out of 13. That's the probability of getting a king. So you can get any king from anywhere. 
But what happens if you're playing with cards, all right? I want you taking two draws. The first card must be a king. That's a spade from the spade group. The second one must be a queen. That's from the club. A king. That's from the spade. Followed by a queen from the club. So if it's a king from the spade, you look at the spade king. There is one. There's only one spade king out of 52 cards. That's what you get. And then from there, the cards, you've taken out the card. There's no replacement. So now you have 51 cards. And a queen that's from the club. A queen from the club is one. So that's your probability of this happening. One times is over 52 times 51. Let's work on the calculator on that. 52 times 51. What do we get? We get 2, 6, 5, 2. So that's the probability of getting a king spade followed by a queen club. Now, my dear, now don't ever think that playing a card game is going to, if you're going to take it as a leisure activity for bonding in a friendly way without any money, it's fine. But if you're going to play it for gambling, let me tell you, gambling just intensifies. It makes your adrenaline pump as you put in more. The bigger the bet, oh God, you want to be uh, into it because you feel that when you win it, wow, go for a bigger bet and a bigger bet and a bigger bet. But what happens if you lose? So let's look at a card game for fun, not for gambling. All right? So do you see what probability does? And I'm going to introduce to you the probability tree. But before I go into it, as I'm into the card game, because you're looking into that, the card game, the chances of you playing the card game, all right, if there are six of you all playing a game and you distribute the cards, the card may not be with you. You may have bad cards or good cards. And each game when you play, you're going to lose not one round, two rounds, three rounds, whatever rounds. And that's where the multiple effect is. All right. So besides cards, what I'm going to do with you on probability is I'm going to talk to you about dice. Take two dice, throw the dice and see what it is all about. And we're also going to look at cards, dice, and then we're going to look at what colored balls we have in a box and what is the probability of picking different colored balls to give you a better understanding of probability. All right? Have no fear when you learn maths. When you learn about probability, you get to understand what chances mean. And I will come to you with more. All right? So stay away from gambling. Get to understand and master probability. And our lesson has this as a team today. It's not the mountain we conquer but ourselves. I'll come to you more shortly.